Okay, so welcome to another DAX Fridays. This time we're going to review the previous function for visual calculations. This is the second attempt to shoot this video. Wish me luck. Okay, so let's start with previous. If we go and take a look at calculation, I've done previous sales only. If you start a new calculation and you select versus previous is going to encourage you to do this minus this. To start with, I do not want that. Um, and it's just so you're able to see and I'm able to explain, otherwise it gets messy. So if we just have versus previous, you'll see that it will give you the previous value. And then when you do sales minus previous row, then you get sales minus previous row. So you can see it here. This is just previous row. And again, it just demotes the row. And when you do sales minus previous, then this minus zero, zero, this minus this minus 3000, this minus this mi plus 1000 and so on and so forth. Beautiful. There is a second parameter on previous. Let me show you. So here is on the documentation, you have previous, this is the expression. And then here you have steps. And then the steps it says indicates the number of rows to go backward to fetch the value. So it's basically like skip rows. So if we go here, I call it skip rows because here I have step two. And what it does is it skips the first two and start doing the previous row on the third item. So, so far, so good. If you remember from the first video, when we don't specify anything, so the axis parameter, which is columns, column rows, rows, row columns is by default rows, right? So all of these calculations have rows as default. You may think, oh, to t test the columns, you know, I have columns in this table. I can just write columns. You cannot do that. Go to my first video to check that out because these are not the columns that it means. It means matrix columns. So we need to create a more complex matrix in order to do that which I've done here. So here we have the columns that they are referring to the axis of the matrix. So this is the column one and this is column two. And when we do this, we can start using the other axis parameters. Otherwise they will not show. So here I have sales. I have columns as the axis, column rows, row columns. Okay. So that's what we're going to explain now. So hopefully I will manage to explain it. Now there are two tables. The, the first table, it just has previous rows. It doesn't have anything else. The second table, it has sales minus previous sales. So you can see what's going on. Otherwise it's very difficult. At least it was for me. So here we have the column sales. When it goes to the axis columns, this one, it says calculates horizontally across columns from left to right. So when you're doing something in rows, you go these, 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 these. When you're doing something in columns, you go these, that, 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 that. That's what it means with columns, right? So instead of going row by row, it goes column by column like that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So previous column for these false, there's nothing. We don't have any. That's why it's empty, but previous columns for true, the column true, we do have. So the previous column for 3000 is this one. Remember, we're going column by column. The previous column for 4000 is 22, which is, is here. Previous column of 5000 is 21 and so on and so forth. So it goes to do, 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 do. Okay, so what happens now when we're doing sales minus previous column? So if we go in here, we're doing sales, which is 26,000 minus zero, 26,000. 22 minus zero, 22. So it's repeating the column because there is no previous column or previous sales value. For here, we have 3,100. And what is the previous value? The previous value, if you remember, was 26,000. So it's doing these minus these, which is 22,000. These minus these, which is 17,000. These minus these, right? And it's calculating that way. Okay, good. So column row, remember, is doing columns and then going row by row, columns and row by row. So the previous value for these 
is actually this because we're going in column by column again. So previous value of this is this, previous value of this is that, previous value of that is that, previous value, of, right? So then it's putting them here. And then for here, I'm actually a bit unsure why the previous value of this is 26,000. I'm not sure I get that. But I do get that the previous value of this one is actually that one, right? And the previous value of this is that, and the previous value of that is that. And that's where we get these numbers. So when we go to this table down there, you have 26,000 minus zero, 26,000, 22,000 minus 3,000, 8,000, 27 minus 4,000, right? And you get boom, 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 boom. And then in here, you get 3,800 minus 26,022, 4,000 minus 22,017, blah, 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 and then it counts everything. Row columns. So it goes row by row and then jumps into the column. So it goes row by row, do, 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 and then it continues with do, 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 do. So, right? So it goes one row, 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 and then jumps to the next column, row, 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 row. And it's basically demoting the values. And then when it's doing the calculation here, it's doing 26,000 minus zero, 26,000, 22,000, minus 26,000 is minus 4,000, 21,000 minus 22,000, and so on and so forth, right? And here is 3,800 minus 42,038, 4,000 minus 3,600, blah, blah. You, you see how it goes? <laughs> so, yeah. Now, for the reset values, it's the same as before. So here the highest parent and the lowest parent is where to restart the calculation. And here the lowest parent is just at the lowest level. Just forget, don't do from the previous row, start from the beginning. And as you can see that it's doing that 41, 41,000 and then it continues. Okay, so that was easy. <laughs> right, so let me know if this was any clearer for you. I hope it was. I'm not looking forward to the rest ones. See you in the next one.